Okay, let's get started with part one where we're going to learn how to count non-salsa music. So in order to do this, this first lesson is going to be on musical vocabulary to go over a little bit of theory so we have the language that we need to be able to discuss the structure of music and how it all works. So before we get into that, I quickly want to dive into why is timing important uh, a little bit more. So if you think about musicians and an orchestra, timing is so important because when a composer makes or creates a piece of music, they need a way, a method, to tell each musician or each instrument when it should start playing a note or a piece of music and when it should stop. And without that structure, there would be no way to create the music that we have today. And likewise, with dance, the reason timing is so important is because a, a choreographer, they want to create uh, a dance piece. They need, to be, they need the language, they need the structure to be able to tell one dancer or a group of dancers when to start a movement and when to stop a movement so that the group can coordinate and do things together, either at the same time or at different times in a planned, orchestrated sort of way. So that's why timing is so important. It gives us the structure to be able to do things we want to do to music. And now let's cover some musical vocabulary so we all have the same language to talk about this stuff. So number one uh, is timing. How do you measure time? So in life, we measure time in seconds, minutes, hours, months, weeks, etc. But in music, we measure time. The basic unit of time is a beat or a count. And a beat and a count are the same thing, so you can use those words interchangeably. So next is tempo, and tempo is the speed of the song or the speed of those beats and counts. Third is phrase. Uh, phrase or phrasing just means uh, a complete musical sentence. So if you have a, a sound like dum, da da dum, 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 that is a phrase. And that could be within four beats or eight beats or 16 or 24 or 32, 64, it doesn't matter. But the fact that it completed makes it a phrase, a sentence of music. Uh, now, in order to understand a song, musicians and dancers need a way to break down this structure into smaller pieces and think and understand them. So to do that, musicians, when they're actually reading a sheet of music, they have something called a measure. And those measures uh, are denoted by bars on the sheet of music. So People can refer to a measure as a bar as well. And most people just talk bars, so I'm going to call it a bar. Um, and in 90% of popular music, popular Western music out there, it uses a 4-4 timing signature. So you don't need to remember that, but what that means is there's four beats per bar. And so all the music that we're going to talk about has four beats per bar, including salsa music. Now, an interesting fact is that musicians count in fours, but dancers count in eights. Now, why is that? So as a dancer, I kind of had a, a feeling of why that would be, but I never actually researched it. So I went down the rabbit hole of the internet and I was looking on Quora and I found Julian from Juilliard, who's a musician and he's a dancer, so he could understand both sides. And his opinion and thoughts on this were that it's because of how each group needs to chunk information together. So if you think about this, uh, a musician has to read information off a piece of paper. So by counting in fours, it's a smaller amount of information to intake and visually absorb at one time. And also, it's a smaller chunk so you can arrange them flexibly when they're creating music. Dancers, on the other hand, have to move. And so four beats, bump, 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 isn't a lot of time to actually create a piece of movement. It's very short. So I could start something and feel like it's unfinished. And so by giving yourself eight beats, eight counts, to do that movement, you're more able to, or more free to create a more complete uh, sentence of movement, let's call it, or piece of movement. And then someone else, David Fung, added that in music it's very rare to have a phrase or musical sentence that is only four beats. They exist, but they're, they're not so common. And it's much more common to find a complete musical phrase that takes eight counts. And so that's likely why dancers count in eights and musicians count in fours. Now, let's go to the computer so you can take a visual look at this and we can play some music at the same time and it'll all make a lot more sense with all this new musical vocabulary. 